Hello, everyone. Welcome to the PyTorch Summer Hackathon. My name is George. I'm a software engineer at Facebook. I work for the text domain in PyTorch team. Today, I'm going to talk about Torch tags, which you might use for some text problem for your Summer Hackathon project. So why do we want to have a Torch tags in addition to PyTorch? First, we want to accelerate NLP research and provide some reusable orthogonal and crack building block for the cutting edge research based on our knowledge in the text domain and the research community. Second, we want to provide a solution to transfer from research to production. We integrate those pipeline and the building block with a wide range of PyTorch capability, such as Touch script, quantization, distributed data parallel, and mobile technology. We want to have a better support for the research to production transition for a lot of end-to-end -end NLP application. Thirdly, we often engage with the community and discover novel technology. The text domain team in PyTorch want to develop a good technology understanding in the NLP area and build new research collaboration. With this goal in mind, we provide those easy access to some commonly used data sets, text processing pipeline, and some NLP related module. Here, I give an example to show how we engage closely with many researchers in the open source community. Since the release of Transformer and multi head attention last year, we receive a lot of feedback on GitHub. Especially, many researchers would like to have more flexibility with the multi head attention container. So this half, we develop, develop a new module called multi head attention container. We will release it by the end of July. Here, I want to give a few highlights for, for the new feature in our multi head attention. First, is called the drop-in replacement. With this only a few lines, user will have the full flexibility to try different custom component with the multi-head attention concept. In addition to the drop-in replacement, the new multi-head attention container will support touch script. And based on the feedback from user, we add incremental decoding and the broadcast support with our container. We also put together some example to apply the multi-head attention container with some novel research idea. So please give us give it a try once we released in, in July. At the same time, we would like to support easy transfer to production. Here, I gave an overview for the end-to-end -end pipeline with PyTorch and Torch tags. So the real text string are read and sent to a field transform like the tokenizer and the vocabulary. Currently, we are working on rewrite those data processing transform as a few orthogonal building block with a G support. After this pre-processing, the data are sent to data loader and sampler where we generate the data batch. And after this step, your data are ready for the model. We have also rewrite a few existing data set in Torch tags and will release them in point seven. The new data set shown here are fully compatible with data loader in PyTorch. User will also have the flexibility to build the data uh, processing pipeline based on our standard tokenizer vocabulary block. So here is a list of the new data sets. Once it is released, please give, a, give them a try and give us feedback. Here I show you a case how to load this data set with a single line and all the default uh, data processing pipeline. With another line, you will get the vocabulary. So yeah, it's very simple to have those um, data sets. On our website, we have several text-related tutorials 
including the one to show how to use the new data set for text classification analysis. We also put together an example in point seven release and show how to build a pipeline to train the bird model from scratch. So you this yeah. So if you have any question, I'm happy to talk. Also, feel free to reach out to us on GitHub. For the summer hackathon, there are many other NLP library like FairC, Hugging Face, Transformer. So if you plan to work on some NLP problem, very likely you don't need to build those stuff from scratch. Thank you so much and enjoy the hackathon. <laughs>